A new rifle came out when Australia came out a few weeks ago, but there's a 22-250 and we're going to be taking it out for the first time for a whitetail. Boy, it's not much of one, but we do in fact have a whitetail buck out here at 320 yards and it's going to be our first whitetail. We're going for a shot with a 22-250 here. Let's see if we can't make this happen. Boy, that looked good. And I believe it was because the percentage is slowly dropping. With a 22-250, you really don't want to take past a 200-yard shot, but it does definitely have the capability of taking up to a 350-yard shot if you need to. I mean, we could probably take a 400-yard shot and maybe get lucky enough to catch a single lung, but it's a definitely maybe because at that distance, you're talking, you're losing a lot of kinetic energy, which in a sense, it's going to reduce the amount of penetration you're going to get. So you really don't want to take past a 200-yard shot. All right, so we got some good blood here. As you can see, it's still on very low. But ideally, what we're going to try and do is get within 200 yards so we can potentially pull off a heart shot. If we can pull off a double lung heart shot, then we'll be sitting pretty good. And the deer are not going to run for a country mile. But we finally did get him down to 0% health, so it should be down right around this next bend. Yep, there he is piled up right over here. This is our first white tail down with the 22250 bolt action rifle. And the shot was only a single lung. And you know how I said 400 yards? I take that back. I don't think we could take past the 350 yard shot. Because that right there was a 300 yard shot and we barely got enough penetration to get a single lung. I'm talking barely. But we did get a lung at 300 yards and took down our first white tail. Now there's a whitetail. Look at that thing out there. We got a 200 plus whitetail buck out there. About 300 yards out. But we're going to try and close the distance here. And see if we can't in fact get a perfect double lung heart shot. We have a perfect wind. We have a lot of cover. Everything is looking great for us so far. All we got to do is work our way along this edge. And get in range. Oh I take that back. We found an even bigger whitetail out here. And this thing is also 300 yards as well. Another good one there too. How big is that buck though? I can't actually get a spotting on him. It looks to be a 230 plus, which in fact, if it is, oh yeah, it definitely is. That is one incredible whitetail. So we're going to focus on this buck first, and then we'll come back over here and try and get this buck after that. And he should still be, yes, he is still going to be over there. In fact, that's him right there, about 250 yards out. Slightly quartering away shot where we should be able to execute a perfect shot. We're talking 180 yards broadside. Here we go. Boy, where is the heart? He is smoked. Definitely smoked. We're talking maybe even double lung smoked. 25% health. 0%. He's going to pile up right there. And he's down. He is down. Our first massive white tail buck is down. Ooh, another good buck out there as well. Which is laying right here. Let's take a look. All right, there we have it. It's only a single lung shot. That shot was absolutely perfect. And it did, in fact, hit the heart. But it's just we didn't have the penetration to go through and get there. I mean... I don't think we could have really made a better shot to be able to get to the heart than we just did there from the angle that we had. So, I mean, I'd say that's just as good of a shot as you could possibly get with the 2250. So clearly you can see that 200 yards is not close enough to go through and get a heart shot. So maybe we'll have to try for a 100 yard shot. And I think that may change the outcome. But it's still a massive white tail. It's going to be a 239.87 gold. That was a 184 yard perfect right lung shot. And that is our biggest white tail ever with the 22250. Whoa, we got a nice bull moose coming in here. Decent one, real decent one. And I have nothing to take him down with except for the recurve bow. About 45 yards out, quartering directly away from us here. Oh, we hit him super far back, but we did in fact get pretty good hit he's going down right there wow holy we hit that thing really far back 
Luckily, he was quartering enough that we ended up getting liver and potentially even lung. And he's laying right there. Let's check to see if we did in fact get a vital hit. That is a vital hit. So yeah, we made it happen. Look how far back we hit this thing. Ended up getting a liver and lung shot. Wow, lung, liver, and intestine at 51 yards, a 179. Surprisingly, it didn't make gold, but not by much. It's not him. But who's to say that he wasn't in this herd? There's another good buck there too. Oh, that buck is smoked. Wow. All right, here's our buck. Liver lung shot, liver lung shot, or actually stomach lung shot. 193.16 would have been a gold. Good solid buck though. Holy, what in the heck did we just find? Okay, honestly, we're over here trying to find some whitetail and I just randomly saw a moose bedded in that brush over there and happened to spot it and it got massive. 244 to 298. That could be a diamond. Wow. Holy, that's the biggest bull moose I've seen in a long time. I can't really see his rack that well from here though, so I don't really know exactly what he's gonna score. I'll tell you what, if he was guaranteed diamond, I'd sneak up on him and try and take him down with a bow, but I just don't know how big he's gonna be. He could be like a 250 or 260s, or he could be a 280. It's one of those things where you just can't quite tell. But either way, he looks really impressive. So I think for this case here, we're gonna take him down with the 338. Shot looked good. Down to 50%. And I lost him. Wow, that's a big old bull. Well, he definitely went down because we do in fact have honey pressure. So let's get over there and go check to see how big he's going to be. So I'm gonna guess he's gonna score 265. That's my guess, 265. We'll see if that's gonna be close or not. Hopefully I'm way off and hopefully he scores like 290 to be honest. And he made it about 80 yards and piled over. But let's take a look. Let's see as we're getting closer if he's getting bigger. I mean, he's a sweet looking incredible bull. Don't get me wrong, he really is. But I just don't know if he's quite wide enough or thick enough to break that 280s. We're about to find out though. Yeah, oh my God, my estimate was so close. I literally said 265. 268.49, that was such a good estimate. Probably my best estimate on a dime potential animal. And that shot though, look at that. Just missed the back of the heart. Perfect shot as he was bedded 280 yards out. Such an incredible looking bull though, isn't he? Look at that. That is a phenomenal looking bull moose. I love like the mass and the toughness of this thing. It's just a sweet, sweet looking bull. So even though he didn't make diamond, at least we didn't get our hopes up because I was pretty much like 95% sure he was gonna be a big gold. And there he is. All right, guys, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching it. We'll see you next time.